Hello and welcome to another episode of Cooking with Chef C. Today, guys, we'll be making our own Nigerian party a goosey soup. So, if you'd like to learn more, do not go nowhere. Watch to the very end. To my returning subscribers, I would like to say a very big thank you to you guys and I love you so much. If you are new to my channel, you are most welcome. Please subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you'll be notified when next I make a post. So guys, let's jump, 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 jump right into cooking. Alright, the first thing we are going to do is boil our meat and then we will be using the stock to make the egusi soup we have also here with us our dry fish we have our stock fish our mixed pepper yellow habarone we have tatashe we have some tomatoes some onions and here is our egusi we have our two leaves this is uziza we'll be making use of uziza and the pumpkin leaf that's ugu we also have our unga classic i love the taste of unga classic in my gusi we have iru we have our maggi seasoning we have our cow skin that's pomo crayfish salt and our palm oil i'll be dropping the ingredients in the description box so we are going to blend our pepper and we'll boil it our pepper is blended so we'll be boiling we'll be blending two onions to use and mix with our egusi add it we'll also add a little bit of water and we'll add some iru we'll add our maggi our salt and we'll mix together thoroughly to combine oops that just dropped Alright guys, we are done mixing together and I guess our water is boiling already. This is what it looks like. We are going to go ahead and add this bit by bit inside the water. And we are done adding, we will go ahead and cover it and allow it to cook. While waiting for our goosey to be cooked, I'm going to be adding some hot water, boiling water inside the vegetable. Mind you, you are not cooking this on the fire. If not, it's going to change the color of your vegetables. And the reason for adding water is to remove the chemicals as a fertilizer used in, you know, planting the ugu. So after adding the water, we drain it out. And set aside then we will check on our egusi soup this has been boiling for the past 30 minutes and I'm sure it is cooked so we'll go ahead and we'll break the remaining lumps inside the egusi and then we'll go ahead and add our stock water as a beef beef stock we'll add it inside the egusi add our maggi and then we'll mix together, break all the lumps until you see no more lumps. We'll go in with our blended pepper and we'll mix to combine. Combine all our ingredients together, then we'll add our dry fish. We'll also add the stock fish and we'll mix together again. Guys, a goosey is one soup that you really need to be patient with why cooking if not you just end up with raw egusi so we'll go in with our cow skin we'll add our unga classic our crayfish we'll also add our palm oil and a tablespoon of salt to taste Now we are going to combine all of this together, mix thoroughly, and then we'll go ahead and cook this on medium heat. 
Remember, you don't rush while cooking a goosey. Beside, it is almost ready. This is halfway cooked already. So, we are going to continue cooking this. Stir it together, combine all your ingredients thoroughly, and then you allow it to cook on a medium heat until our egusi is ready. So go ahead and allow it to cook. We'll cover it and allow it to cook. After another 20 minutes cooking on a medium heat, this is what our egusi is looking like. Now let's check on it. You stir and then look at how our egusi is looking this is ready and it's good to go we are just going to stir you check on it once in a while so that your egusi just to be sure that your egusi is not burning Right, so I didn't plan to add bitter leaf, but I'll be adding a dash of bitter leaf inside of the egusi. And trust me, this tastes really nice. Really, really nice. And I'll go in with my uziza leaf. I already washed the bitter leaf thoroughly, so it's barely even bitter. So I'll just add the uziza leaf and I'll mix together. Now we'll go ahead and taste for salt. Guys, this is really nice. So tasty. I'll be adding my ugu now. And at this point, I'm going to go ahead and turn off the heat because our ugu is as good as cooked because of the hot water we added earlier. So turn off the heat and just mix everything together. Yum, yum, yum. Our egusi soup is ready, guys. Now, because I didn't add meat, I'll be making stew with the beef separately. So, our egusi is ready. And if you are ready to eat, you can come over. This is delicious, guys. Trust me. And I hope you try this too. As we have come to the end of today's episode. And... Let me know what you think. If you have watched to this point and you are just enjoying the video without subscribing to my channel, that's not nice. Please click on the subscribe button, subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell. Very important so that you'll be informed when next i make another post and i will see you in my next one cheers and bye for now